Hi guys, this is Razor Eye, and right now we'll be hunting four rings for our pouring journal quest. This is the character Chibi Luna from Wifey, and right now we are Chixilog. So here we go. This is another side quest for Ragnar Origins. We need to hunt these ones. Look at that, we have hunted Hem Ring, Rabbit Ring, and the other Porin. So the first one is in Prontera. You can find it here on this map. And check and go, uh, go up this ladder. You see an icon there, and let's climb it up. So once you reach the top, you'll see that there's a ghost whisper or something here, right? It looks like a whisper. But we need to turn on our camera to take a picture and it will reveal itself. It's a ghost ring. So you've captured your first pouring for your pouring journal. At this point, you can open up your pouring journal, check your notes, and you can see that you have caught a ghost ring. So congratulations on catching your first pouring for your pouring journal. The second one is on the lower left of Prontera. Let's go there and check it out. Do you see this donut thing here at the back of the store? Let's pick it up. So you'll see an icon to grab it. It's located somewhere here. So let's check it out. Okay, so there you have it. We have discovered Henry. Let's add him up to the collection. Next, we need to go to the lower right of Prontera, located on the map. So you'll see another donut-like thing here on the ground. Same as before, you need to click it to view it. It's located on the lower right. Let's pick it up. Okay, so there you have it. Another Henry. So a few more to go to complete our collection. The next one is located on the right hand side of Prontera. It's located on the map as well. Check the back of the store and you'll see an ice cream on the floor. Somebody must have dropped it. Don't eat it, but we need to pick it up. So let's go. So we have discovered another Henry. <laughs> Congratulations. The next hidden pouring is in the middle of Prontera. Check this map. So once you're here, you need to pop all the bubbles. Pop, pop, pop. So let's go. Keep on popping until you see the pouring we have discovered rabbit ring congratulations the next hidden pouring is just next to the bubble one it's at the back of this store check it out and there should be a ladder there we need to climb it up and let's climb it as a lady be careful and do not slip this is one long ladder. I hope there's no snake at the top. So there you have it. Another pouring. Meow pouring. Congratulations. 
Don't forget to take a selfie here. How cute! The next location is at the Pramtera North Gate. You'll see it around here somewhere. I'm sorry but the video got cut off. But it's on this location. There you have Rabbit Train. Next we need to go to the Pantera West Gate. Should be somewhere here. Check that part out. We will transition to another character, Nagini, which is also another character of Wifey because uh, she found the pouring here. So let's pick up the donut found another Henry. Congratulations! Next, we need to go to the upper right of the same map and we will see Patrol Henry. He's patrolling in this location. So as you can see, they're moving from one place to the other but they're just within the same vicinity. So try to look for them. There's a lot of prizes when you collect them, like diamonds and crystals, so it will be worth your time. This next part is a little bit tricky. Once you go to the location, you need to look for a blue vortex on the fishing area. I'll show you what it is. So as you can see, the fishing spot is plain and there's nothing unusual about it. So we need to go out of this map and go back. And then once we go back, you'll see. So there you have it. You can see the blue vortex on the fishing spot. So you need to activate your fishing gear and fish here, then click on the blue vortex and then you'll catch the pouring. I was amazed by that technique. Pretty cool, right? On the next one, we'll go to the Pantera South Gate, right about here. You'll need to go to the right side, near the carriage, and near the box. So let's pick it up and we caught another rabbit train. Congratulations! The next one is on the lower left of Prontera Southgate. So let's go there. Once you're here, you need to look for a vine that looks like a ladder and climb it up. As you can see, the pouring is on the top of this hill. Okay, so we've got another rabbit ray. Congratulations again, you've discovered at least five of them. The next pouring is on the upper right of the Pantera South Cape. We need to do the technique with the fishing thingy. As you can see, there's no blue vortex yet, so we need to get out of this map and go back. You might try this several times, but don't give up. It will show up eventually. I think it took me 7 tries to get the blue vortex. So there it is, the coveted blue vortex. Let's cast our fishing rod. And let's catch Bobo the Fish. Fun trivia, for recording's sake, this is my first time catching Bobo Fish, so I don't know the rules yet. I was just trying to cast my fishing rod on the fishing pond, and then nothing is happening. I thought I need to catch Bobo Fish, 
by casting my fishing rod. But I need to click on the blue vortex. So, because of that, you know what to do next, right? And a quick commercial break. If this helped you a lot, make sure that you like, comment, and follow my channel. Next, we need to go to the desert crossroad. It's on the left side. Now, this is lucky. This is my first time going here and the blue vortex is already there. So, good luck to you. We need to do the fishing technique again. And a quick trivia to those non-Filipino viewers. Bobo means not smart in the Philippines. But apparently, you need to be very smart to catch Bobo the fish. But I got you fam. Next, you need to go to the bottom part of the desert crossroad, right about here. You might see some decoy drops, but that's not the one. It should look like a sand foray. So, did that drops fool you? <laughs> it did fool me though. Next, we go to the pouring island. Good luck looking for pourings here. <laughs> Good luck looking for the pouring here. They have so many different accessories. But I think you'll see him. Not this one. Not that one. But you'll just feel it. It's somewhere on the left side. Good luck finding it. There it is. It's teasing us. I got you now, fam. So congratulations, we caught another hen ring. <laughs> another one on Pouring Island. Let's go to the south part. Look for the pouring with rabbit ears. There it is. Let's click on him. So we got another rabbit ring. Congratulations! Next, we need to go to the top part of the pouring island and look for the pouring with a cat headband on. There it is. It's just sitting pretty. So we got another meow pouring. Congratulations! Next, we need to go to this part of the Pouring Island map. Here we'll see the desert drops. Look at him, just frolicking around. So happy. Let's click on him. So there you have it. You have another drops for your pouring journal. Next, we need to go to the island of the swordsman, Islud. This one is located on the lower right hand side of Islud. Make sure that you rotate your camera and look underneath the tree. You'll see some ghost like figure just roaming around. So take out your camera and take a picture. There it is, we caught a ghost ring. Next, go here and you'll see some pink bubbles. And I know that you know what to do next. You need to pop them all. Pop, 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 pop. So there, a new pouring is hiding inside the bubbles. How did he do that? Next, we need to go to the left hand side of Islu, right about here. We need to look for some signs right about here and look for some paw prints. Oh, there you have it. Follow the paw prints and follow the pouring. 
Wait a minute. This line doesn't have pause, right? I see. So the technique is to stay at least a few seconds on the paw. Next, we need to go to the nose of the Bialan Islands. Let's go now. There is something hiding here. So again, take out your camera and snap a shot. Make sure that the ghost ring is in frame and take your shot. Next, we go to the land of the assassins, Morok. It's on the lower left side of the inner square and at the back of the caravan near the grain merchant. So he got another rabbit grain. Congratulations! Next we go to the lower right hand side of Moro. Let's look for a desert drop that is roaming around. There it is. So we got another desert drops. Next, we go to the upper right hand side of Morok. Let's go there. You will need to move your camera around because it's on the corner of the house. Right there. Let's click on him. We have caught another Henry. <laughs> let's go. Next, let's go to the Sograt Desert on the northern part right here. Just be careful when climbing ladders because you're a lady. Let's check if he's happy that we found him. <laughs> Look at that face. Let's click on these drops. So there you have it. Another drops, another win for us. Good job. Once you have completed this boring gallery, you can use them as your profile picture. Next, go to the upper left hand side of South Morok. This basket looks fishy. <laughs> Let's open it up. Another rabbit ring. <laughs> you really love carrots, don't you? Next, go to the bottom part of South Morok. You'll see another desert drops frolicking around. Let's click on them. Good job, we caught another drops. Next, go to the upper left side of South Morok, right about here. We'll need to use the fishing style technique to catch bobo fish. Let me show you the way. <laughs> you need to go out, go in, go out, go in until you see the blue vortex. Sometimes you need to really get close to the fishing pond for the blue vortex to show up. Just like so. So go ahead and use the fishing technique to catch bobo fish. Congratulations! Next, go to the upper right hand side of Western Moro. There's a chance that you might experience this bug wherein you cannot go up. Once you press up, your character will go down, just like so. It took me a few tries and then I gave up. So I did the fishing technique, go out of the map and go back again. And what do you know, it worked. 
So let's climb the top of this ladder and gain another pouring for our pouring journal. Don't give up and continue climbing up. So there's a ghost ring on the top. Take out your camera and take a picture. Congratulations! And of course, why don't we take a selfie? This is a very, very cute character. Next, we need to go in the middle of the map at the back of the Sphinx. The other character Nagini will show you how it looks like. So let's click away. So we caught another Meow Pori. Congratulations! Next, we need to go to the left side of the Bridge of Desert. You can see the desert drops in the middle of the bones. Here he is. Let's click on him. Congratulations, we caught another drops. Next, we need to go to the bridge on the Bridge of Desert. I cannot locate the coaster in here, so let's do another technique. Let's make sure that we have a wide angle shot. Steady your camera and point and click. There, I got you. <laughs> He's just on the bridge. Caught you. He goes ring you. Next, we need to go to the right hand side of the bridge of desert. Somewhere here. Here, we need to look for the pouring with the bunny hat or bunny head gear. We caught another rabbit ring. Congratulations! You can now use rabbit ring as your profile picture. Warning! This one is a little bit dangerous. We need to go to the Geffen field and go to the right hand side. The mobs here are aggressive and they might kill you. So be careful. You should be able to locate Rabbit Ring on the right hand side. Make sure that you click him and get away fast. Look at that, they almost killed me. Luckily I have Hawkeye following me around. Next we need to go to the Goblin Forest somewhere on the lower left side. You should look for some paw tracks right about here and then follow and then you should find the paw ring. There you have it, we found the old paw ring. Congratulations! Next, let's go to the middle of the Goblin Forest. Let's look for the invisible ghost ring. Make sure that your eyes are as sharp as mine. Take out your camera and take a picture. You've got another ghost ring. Congratulations! Next, let's go to the upper left hand side of the Goblin Forest. There should be some tracks near the bones. Just follow them and you locate the porridge. So we got another Meow Pore. <laughs> meow.
This one is another dangerous area at the Korg Forest. Make sure that you be careful and tread lightly. It's in the middle of the bridge. Look at that. I died it. I need to go back to the checkpoint. Let's be careful and run away. Make sure that they don't see me and go in the middle of the bridge. Just be careful. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. There, you can almost see. He's smiling and teasing us. It's a ghost ring. Take out your camera and take a picture. This one is in the garden. So here we are looking for a ghost ring. Make sure that you widen out your eyes. Check for any emoticons that are floating by so that you can see it. Take out your camera, strike a pose, and click away. I'm seeing a lot of floating emojis, but I'm not really sure, so I'll widen up the lens and take a picture right about here. There, I caught you, Pikachu. Next, we go to the village of the orcs, the orc village. It's another ghost ring and it's somewhere in the middle of this bridge. So do the technique of taking a picture every step. Go ahead. Don't be shy. Haha, <laughs> caught you, Pikachu. This last one is in Payon and somewhere here near the shops. Let's check it out. There's a boring with a rabbit hat on jumping around. There it is. Let's click on it. It's a rabbit ring. So congratulations. Hope you have caught them all. This video is not finished yet. I will update it as soon as we complete all the boring gallery. This is Eraser Eye signing out. Always remember to level up your playstyle and see you next time. Bye bye.